Hi, everyone. It's Coach Mo for a Motivational Monday. Make this year better than ever. And this year, tease us up to a new decade as well. I am Coach Mo. I am the founder, creator of the Kick-Ass Career Workshop, and I'm here with my lovely director of coaching, Miliana Demori. How are you today? I am awesome, and I'm super happy to be here with you. Motivational Monday. Oh, I think I lost your audio. Ah. Uh-oh. Motivational Monday. Let's see if we can... Um, Make your, for some reason, the audio seems to have gotten lost here. Hmm. Uh-oh. Test, test, one. Um, hang on there, folks. I don't know if anyone's here with us. If you can let us know, if you can hear us, that would be awesome. And um, Anything I would just me? love to know if we are on point here with uh, everything. It seems like all systems are go for me right now, but I can't hear you, Miliana, for some reason. Um, Anita says she can hear us both. I lost your audio. We were rocking and rolling right before mm -hmm. that. And uh, can you hear me okay, Miliana? Yeah. You can hear me? I cannot hear you. At I don't all. know what's going on At here. All. Let's huh. try. Well, um, and I don't know if anyone's here to, uh, excited to see you. I can hear you both. Okay. Um, I don't know what's happening with the audio, Miliana. I cannot hear you, but you know what? If you can hear me, uh, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just read your lips every time I ask you a question and, um, We'll just go for it. We will uh, see how much we, we uh, work together. I want to specifically talk about a few deep topics today. I want to talk about consciousness and the unified field. <laughs> and I want to make sure that we, uh, we, uh, we are bringing this new year and this new decade in with a new perspective on how to change our life. And really the best way to change our life is to do it in the non-physical world first. When we change our life in the non-physical world, we have a greater guarantee. Actually, we have a guarantee of being able to change our life. And I am going to, uh, I'm going to drive myself crazy is what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> If you would like to schedule a free clarity call, feel free to do that. Maybe we'll be able to hear you then. So <laughs> it looks like in the chat, everyone can hear us, Miliana. So we're just going to kind of wing it. If you can, can, if you can hear me, Miliana, you can uh, add your uh, expertise to the conversation here. But let me, let me tee it off into the consciousness perspective. So if we want to make a change in our lives, um, we have got to change. Oh, now we lost Miliana. Oops. Let's see what happened here. Uh Oh, there goes my, 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 my co-host. All right. So we can't hear. Yep. Looks like Miliana dropped off. Um, yikes. So she'll be back. Um, hang on one second, Miliana. I don't know why, uh, we lost you there, but you're back. I'm back. And can you hear oh, me? Now I can hear you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you did what every techno person does, and they leave the connection and start a new one. So that's awesome. Okay. So let's take two. So here we are, folks, to make this year better than ever. And we're starting a new decade, a new year, a new week. Everything's brand, 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 brand new. But are you new? Are you a new version of you coming into this new year and new decade? That's my question for you. Miliana and I are going to unravel how you can craft for yourself a new you. And why in the world does every new year come and you get stuck and things don't change? First of all, Miliana, let's dive into why we get stuck and why things don't change. And really there's two predominant, 
well, maybe three predominant reasons why people are stuck. And if you're new to my work, I'm Coach Mo. I'm the founder and creator of the Kick-Ass Career uh, Coaching Program. And I'm here with my director of coaching, Miliana Demori. Again, welcome, Miliana. Now that we got the technical glitches all figured out, we can <laughs> talk honestly and openly about why people get stuck and why their year and their life doesn't change. Number one reason why we don't change is because our body, which is basically our nervous system, is wired for the same responses to the same events, to the same this, to the same that. And we are habitually reinventing the past every single day when we keep reliving a nervous system response. And therefore, any change we make is changing that nervous system. And most of our nervous systems aren't ready for change because they peg that as fear. Change is interpreted by the primitive brain as fear primarily, and we avoid anything that has association with fear, so we stay with the known. And I heard someone on a clarity call last week, Miliana, give me the, well, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. And that saying is embedded in this theory, not theory, this, this reality of how the nervous system is wired to keep repeating the same patterns. Liliana, why is our nervous system wired this way? Why do we keep repeating the same things and feeling the same way over and over again every single brand new day? Yeah, really great question. And you get the solution in the Kick-Ass Workshop, but also knowing right. that there's a really cool book called The Body Keeps the Score. <laughs> and as you grow up, none of us is born with low self-esteem, fear. We're only born with two fears, right. fears of really loud noise and fears of being dropped. All the other fears are learned and have been taken on. So basically you are learning to become the person that you are today and through daily reinforcement, like you are basically the habit of just repeating, yeah. repeating, repeating, repeating your daily and all the same thoughts, habit of emotion, literally your emotions now with the brain science can be traced, like different emotions release different chemical, um, you know, chemical reactions in your in your body, in your brain, and you get addicted to the personality, who you are. And literally by the age of 35, five, you're pretty much hardwired. So if you're under 35, you should start <laughs> rewiring yourself ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> it gets harder to rewire the more hard hardwiring we we have. It's almost like your house gets wired into the rafters and into the walls after 35 and before then you still have some wires dangling around that you can that you can uh do some stuff with now that's um neurologically speaking we can still rewire but the resistance is so strong because it's it's decades of practice um most people feel the same way when they wake up every morning most people feel the same way when they drag their bodies to the bathroom first thing in the morning to relieve themselves. Same old thoughts, same old feelings. And then you take that into your day. Predominantly, you have two conductor centers in your brain. So the third thing that really has to change in order for you to change is that you've got to get the conductor of the brain side that feels good to be turned on and you've got to let her loose in order to allow the brain to act and react in a different manner. Um, our brain is wired to be biased toward fear and danger and keeping us alive. Not so healthy in the 21st century, is it Miliana? What, what, what do we have to consider when we think about which side of the brain we want to actually empower um, every day? Mm. So anytime you catch yourself reacting with uh, the similar emotions or triggers, you're acting out of your lower reptilian brain and it's a survival mechanism. So you literally have the, you know, 2020 and our responses are thousands of years old. So scientifically proven, our ancestors who had the most worrying and the biggest panic 
actually survived because if they didn't worry, they'll be, you know, dead and there was no uh, carrying on, on of the genes. So we are, because we are alive, the result of the biggest warriors. <laughs> and the best runners away from things and the more proactive to, uh, to, to do something about their fear and worry. So we're wired to do everything that our ancestor did to survive. Mm -hmm. Only thing is, we're probably not exposed to the same dangers. No, 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 no. We now have um, much more safety. There has never been more safety and peace in the world history as it is today. Amen. That's actually proven now. Yes, it fear, is. Fear sells. Fear sells. So when you look at news, uh, you'll start seeing only fear because it sells. But the truth of it all is that never has it been safer to be who we are. And especially as women, never has it been safer and more welcome to speak your truth, to be who you are. And so here is when we move into the old responses that are not even ours. It's learned in which it's taken on and we're remodeling it and taking it in. And we have now the chance to learn how to respond instead of react, respond from a place of how do I want to feel? We are sharing with you the science of success, the science of transformation, the science of how to get from A to B much faster and to maintain. We've seen a lot of times as you keep expanding, something that's called the Peter Principle is everyone rises up to a level of incompetence unless you have a super awesome kick-ass tribe and mentors in your corner and you then keep expanding and expanding and expanding. So we can hardwire ourselves to literally a new identity, a new personality, a new way we are communicating. So you can be having the identity of I was always shy and I was a fly on the wall to literally going to I love talking in front of a group of people. I love sharing my message. Everything that I share is bringing value to someone. So you can upgrade your in, yourself. And you're, literally like what we do, Mo, we help people change their energy signature. That yeah. means you start attracting different people in your private life and in your career. So if you in your life have something that's reoccurring, reoccurring, like always having toxic people, always having trouble with money. It's a pattern. And, you know, most people, Miliana, believe that their patterns are based on some actions or reactions that they are doing. And all they have to do is change an action out in the world. So let's just talk about if you don't have enough money. Well, it's just because I'm not saving enough. It's just because I'm not earning enough. But what is behind all of that, if we peel the layers away, is a consciousness and an energy signature of, I will never have enough, I don't have enough, I don't make enough, I'll never make enough, I can't pay my bills. And that repetitive wiring of that belief system, of that internal tape playing over and over and over and over again, has created not only the mental wiring, but the energy signature and the attractor pattern for that reality. So we're literally thinking ourselves into scarcity, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Because you want to be right. <laughs> I'm right, darn it. I can't make money. I'm right, darn it. They'll never pay me. You can't even see the opportunities. And here's what we often see with women. And I used to do the same. Opportunities come and clients want to work with you. And secretly you hope, like, just leave me alone. I don't want to give you the highest price. I'll do it for cheaper. I'll do it for free. And so we, we literally can't see massive right. opportunities yeah. that are outside of our belief system. Right. Nor, nor are we wired for that next level of, of reality of what might be available to us? When we're not even thinking it's possible, it is impossible. So all of these layers are crafting and creating what we see as our reality. So first thing is our nervous system is wired to repeat the same patterns. Uh, behind that is that ancestral pull of all of those patterns that have come through our DNA, which we know scientifically is true now. Number two, 
we have a dominant bias toward survival and fear brain. That primitive brain is typically the hardest wired active center of our body, of our brain, and it's controlling our body to keep repeating the same patterns. Number three, we believe things based on that. And so therefore we have an energy signature of perhaps scarcity in this example um, and, and not getting what we want. So we're putting that out there and we've crafted now a signature in the field of potentiality. Einstein told us this in 1905, folks, if you're still not really understanding how the universe is put together, just know that the smartest guy in the 20th century told us last century, last millennium, how the universe is put together. We live in a field of 100% all possibilities. It is the quantum field. It is physics. It is science. We know it to be provable. And so when we live in that potentiality, but we're putting out the same signal over and over again, and our nervous system is wired for over and over again, we're going to have the same day over and over again, Groundhog Day, that famous movie that everyone's so enamored with is because subconsciously we know it's true. If you don't change things, things won't change. That's one of those little cliches that is so fantastic because you must change your wiring and your energy signature in order for things to change. If you just change your wiring and not your energy signature, you will not have change in your life. And if you just change your energy signature, but your wiring and your nervous system is still repeating the same pattern, there's no change. So in order to do that, you must begin to think broadly. You have to open the other aspects of your brain up to think differently. Miliana, let's talk a little bit about how we have to invoke the other parts of our brain in order to start the change that must occur for us to have a changed life, week, year, decade. Yeah. Very often we are accustomed to one way of thinking and the women we really get to work with are very intelligent, accomplished and in their logical brain. Yes. And it's now really stepping into the art of bringing all both sides together, both our hemispheres and really dropping down into our heart intelligence which is actually much more powerful than our intellect. Our intellect works with what we know so far, so with existing files. Our heart intelligence works with possibilities and what's out there. And um, I know as a, a former professional athlete and working with athletes that if you can get an athlete to consider and think about what is possible, their body can't follow. If someone can't even imagine and add the feelings to it, that they can do something, it will never happen. So you start really looking and modeling people that are incredibly successful and especially the ones that were not supposed to be. And then you ask, how did I do it? And it really starts with, they started considering what, what if, what if I can, what if right. I can be incredibly fulfilled and successful? What if I can be and reach the next level of confidence? What if I can be the leader? What if I can become a VP? And it really starts with using every part of you, not just the logic and the willpower and leaning forward. So we'll teach you a lot. Yeah, use it because you will need it to kind of jumpstart it. So action first, but it's also being in the receptive mode. And sometimes it looks like self-care and like increasing, increasing your sleep and your water intake, like something so simple and available. And so we'll help you bring all of it together where you can create incredible, incredible results and, uh, you know, in real life, but also feeling the difference. In, in our workshop right now, there's a woman who has been longing for having uh, an, a romantic connection and relationship. And um, her work uh, causes her to be totally living in her left brain. And because of that repetitive pattern, her heart center um, may have just gotten dim over time. Um, and that coupled with other things that happen in life, um, when we are only in our head and we have not magnetized our energy centers, when we have not magnetized our heart center to bring toward the attractor pattern, we're literally living, um, I don't know, 90% less 
I don't know if the mathematical percentage, we're actually 98% energy being and 2% physical. So maybe I have that math slightly incorrect. But when we don't get the heart center magnetized, we can't possibly attract our desires. So if you're thinking about wanting something, you're only using the very smallest part of what it takes to get that thing in your life, which is why we believe that bringing your soul to work is the secret to why we are successful with our ladies, because we're bringing your energy pattern up and we're shining. You're, we're helping you learn how to shine your light from within. And that in and of itself changes your energy signature. So now your desires can be magnetized into this field of potentiality. And when you begin to do that, you start feeling differently. Therefore your nervous system begins to change. Are you all following this? <laughs> then your nervous system can begin to change because you start to feel better. Now you don't have to worry. Now you don't have to overthink everything. And suddenly there's an equal part of heart energy and new nervous system wiring that happens together. And now you actually do have this new energy signature out in the field and you're starting to feel better and life is flowing and things are coming together and recruiters are calling and interviews are going well and you understand exactly the clarity of what you want to do in your next role. And you can articulate that better in the interview. And all of a sudden the nervous system starts to get signal after signal that it'll be all right. And Miliana, you're an expert in this field. You're a, a certified practitioner in this field called neuro linguistic programming and human, human, humanistic neuro linguistic programming. That's like a mouthful. Um, <laughs> right. Right. And, and all that we are helping our ladies do really is to craft this new wiring system and create a new energy signature while we're giving them great executive mentoring uh, about how to land a great job and craft their, their, their resume and their LinkedIn toward their alignment. I mean, it's all we're doing. That's all. That's all just changing their entire life. Um, <laughs> we're able to do that in a short period of time because we're adding this wiring. What are some of the other benefits that happen when we are helping our ladies do these things? And ladies, if you're our clients, you can feel free to tell us what your other benefits have been in your life. Uh, we've certainly seen a lot of them over the last week or so. Um, tell us expert, uh, what are those things that we begin to see as well in our lives once we rewire and our nervous system gets a chance to go in a direction that feels good? Mm. There's, there's this really cool, cool thing that we can see that let's say you, you want to reach the next level. And then something that we see very often is job trauma and like a, like a physical sensation of panic, anxiety, and fear, apl just apply for the next job. Like literally just pressing press, like yeah. set. and then we have other things that show, show up from, from the childhood that like, Oh snap, I'm moving into my expansion and like, bang, this, this thing is trying to derail me. So yes, what we help our women do is, again, through the science of the, neur the neural, neural uh, plasticity, is let go out of the body the trauma response. And that means you move forward with much more ease. Um, you let go the old job trauma. And as Joe Dispenza says, trauma neutralized turns into wisdom and you just you, you use it as your fuel yes. and you go into a deeper level of true forgiveness you don't have to force it you uh can reach a level of like, we, we work with women that had phobias of elevators like something mm -hmm. that uh, held them back moving in the, moving up in their career right literally you know, how do you get to the, to the 38th floor and so we uh, we can really get into like a, a deep level of trauma resolution that helps you just dive into fast, fast elevation into the next level because there's no more fear holding right. you back. And it doesn't matter if you're unemployed or if you're earning seven figures, everyone reaches a level of kind of mm, upper, upper limit as we would call it. So it, it, everyone has that as you're moving into expansion. And when you have a team of expert coaches and mentors, you can number one, neutralize it, you can let it go, and then you can leap forward. Like we, we, we see quantum leaps. 
we've seen when women had years and years and years of just stagnation and just pure survival and then bang out of the blue the right people the right opportunities and we see it as a side effect of showing up saying yes to themselves and showing up in the group calls and really diving into the, the free version of yourself so trauma absolutely re resolvable ptsd symptoms resolve so if you have job trauma or something really heavy yeah we've got your back yeah yeah absolutely uh so we're getting some some good stuff about how resolved trauma is wisdom uh self-empowerment peace ah oh, people would literally i mean sacrifice their firstborn for peace um, <laughs> maybe not that but anything short of it um, so, so what happens is that when we are able to work with our clients and, and take the portal of their career, cause that's really what we're doing, isn't it, Miliana? We're, 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 we're taking the portal of, of a career mm -hmm. and one's outward success. And we're saying, let's fix this outward thing, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to enter into the door of rehabilitating your career, taking you to the next level or yeah. getting this layoff or this fired or I quit my job thing. We're going to fix that. But in order to do so, we have to go internal. We have to go into the soul. We have to turn that back up. It's like going back into the house and turning the lights on. Like you can't really see where you're going to go if all the lights are turned off. So we turn the lights back on room by room. Some of the rooms haven't been visited in a long time. And there needs to be some cleanup in those rooms. And that's one of the fears that people have around changing. I don't want to go back into that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to visit that. And it is the exact chain that is holding things back. So when we are able to allow our ladies to turn the lights on and get courageous, give them tools, guidance, love and support, and the techniques to literally rewire their brains and their nervous system, feel better about themselves and their physical body, learn how to light up their energy body and their soul, and then craft excellent techniques toward getting the exact outcome that has eluded them for decades. We're pretty good at this, aren't we, Emiliana? I mean, we're pretty good at this. Yeah. And we are, we are both blessed that we went through our own journey to learn these techniques and get here. And so when, when we are able to mentor and coach and guide, teach, train all of these ladies who have a variety of different careers, what we're literally doing is helping rewire the nervous system, the energy signature, and on top of that, craft great executive strategies to land that next job, to land a job with more contribution, greater impact, more money, which of course every family on this entire planet wants more money. And why? Because it is the thing that allows your life to be easier. And from time to time, we have a woman in our workshop, I don't really need to make more money. Yeah, you do. Because when you are actually at a higher level of energy vibration, you are going to attract more abundance. If you have resistance around that abundance, you're shutting the whole thing down. And that's another thing that we dive into as needed in the work that we do. Let's talk a little bit about the energy signature and, um, and, and what we receive, Miliana, in life. Let's just wrap up with that concept because I think it's a powerful one. Um, we're teeing up for folks how to change your week, your month, your year, your decade, and why we get stuck. I think we've pretty much nailed um, all the reasons why we get stuck. Let's talk about when we change our energy signature and then we get ready to receive more. Yeah, and some of the things that we can do is daily energetic hygiene. As you brush your teeth, as you wash your face and have a shower, a daily energetic hygiene is really looking after yourself and your soul and uh, nourishing your body and... Because you, we would recommend journal and self-awareness and invest in yourself. I can guarantee you that investment in yourself is the biggest legacy you will leave to everyone that's coming after you. 
And when we do change our energy signature, again, you'll, it's, we know how. And, and you, you, through practicing that, you feel different, you respond different, you, are, you evolve as your, yourself. Like you be and you become a new identity and you upgrade a better version of yourself. Your impact changes, your relationship change to, to the better. The more courageous you become, and it can be uh, maintained and learned, the, the more vulnerable you become and you, you let all parts of you be okay. And through daily practice, you'll start, we start see, we see women that just show up in interviews and just go like, wow, I totally nailed that interview and they fell in yeah. love with me and just feeling really comfortable with who you are. And right. the Heart Math Institute in California, I believe, they now have machines that measure your magnetic field and electromagnetic field of your heart. So the way you focus on what you want you literally change your energy signature so we can change uh, how we feel. And and we all have felt it. A person walks into a room yeah. and we feel it. We, yes. feel, we feel who is authentic. We, can't, we feel who is not really. We start, we, can, we have this feeling like something's, you know, fishy. And then right. with some people like, yeah, this is it. I, I get you, you, you get me. And so you can really step into that power of knowing yourself, self-mastery emotional mastery and as a side effect of that everything shifts like your whole like it just it's a domino effect when you change inside everything outside changes you start realizing that we can't change the toxic boss but we can change ourselves and we can stay in our alignment and our, our yeah. power and interestingly they change it's amazing how that happens and when they don't change Sometimes they leave. So, so here's one of the best benefits of all of this great work. When you change your energy signature, you have literally shifted everything around you. And the, the people who were attached to your old energy signature begin to change, begin to fall away. Uh, we've seen many, many women through our workshop who will come on a coaching call and say, guess what? That horrible boss just quit. And the person they put in charge of my department is someone who I absolutely love and adore. And they're so amazing. Or they'll say, guess what? I've been asked to move into a department of, I, that I've been dying to go to forever. And all of a sudden the energy shift is moving toward their desires, toward their heart magnetism. And so the, the aspects of life that you've been resisting and pushing and ah, you've created a resistance pattern that has actually welded that in place, which is why you stay stuck folks. When you do the inner work and change your energy signature and eventually rewire your nervous system because of that, you literally change everything in your world. You, 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 you can't stop that from happening because you are so different. And so everything around you, all of a sudden, you notice people are more generous driving and things are, everything's just more pleasant. And you mentioned Miliana having an interview where it's just ease and flow and they liked me. And so often when a woman comes into our workshop, I will say to them, uh, let me guess the interviews you've had so far, you haven't heard back or they've kind of blown you off or, and here's what they said after you left the room. Yeah, she had the right credentials, but eh, there's just something about her. Eh, eh. And what's happened is that on your resume, you may look totally qualified and everything might be lined up on paper, but your energetic signature is not in alignment. And so the best jobs will elude you. The best opportunities will elude you until you change your energy signature, the imprint you are putting out there, whether it be with your family, with your friends, uh, at your current work, the energy signature that you're putting out there is determining exactly what your life looks like. So if you want to know where your energy signature is, look at your life. I know that's a massively kick-ass statement to make. <laughs> it is true. One of our lovely ladies who's graduating this week, uh, Miliana, you and I both saw her beautiful video. Uh, she got a little bit upset at me. Um, <laughs> because one of my key statements is so in line with what we're talking about today. 
How you do anything is how you do everything. And when we are understanding how the universe works and that our energy signature is the thing that molds the rest of our lives, you begin to get it because you can't possibly be uh, organized in a, in a great driver and have your car spick and span and go to work and be a disaster. It doesn't go that way. Now you could fake it, but your energy signature is what it is until you change it. And when you do change it, everything changes. All of a sudden you want to clean up the office in your house that has been a disaster zone that you've collected every single leftover everything. And we see this all the time in our, in our workshop, don't we, Miliana? Our ladies are getting haircuts. They're doing a makeover of themselves, their wardrobe. They're cleaning up their basements. They're, they're cleaning up their office area at home. They're, they're changing everything around them. They're just compelled to now be more of a match. Yeah. Everything gets up leveled. This is how you change your decade. This is how you change your year. This is how you change you. It is through your energy self, which I call your soul self first. And then it begins to help you rewire that nervous system. That's got you chained and locked in a key in that prison of how you're going to feel every day. And when you can combine all of these strategies together, along with great executive and career coaching, you get a triple play on that. Uh, Miliana, we've had some great chats, um, comments in the chat, uh, improve family and friend relationships, trauma neutralized, uh, self-empowerment, love, joy, uh, happiness and life growing into my being. My life isn't perfect. It's changing for the better. Thank you, Timo. Confidence and personal power. Uh, finally overcoming job and personal trauma all because of the kick-ass coaching, uh, everything begins to shift. Um, <laughs> more light bulbs, <laughs> Judith, uh, the light bulbs will continue and the light switches can get flicked on when you commit to being the person that you want to be and shifting your energy. Milian, anything you want to add to this conversation before we wrap up for today? Today is the right time to choose who you want to be from, you know, today onwards. The, the level of awareness, self-awareness is your superpower now. So it is, as Mo said, anywhere in your life where you see like, hmm, it's a two out of 10, it is just saying, okay, great, let's, let's make a change. And you are the one that you've been waiting for. And us. You are the <laughs> one that you have been waiting for. And what you have to do is turn the light on. Because without that, no one's going to see you and you aren't going to see how awesome you are. That's the first step. First step is you seeing how awesome you are. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern, we're going to give you another dose of Motivational Monday. We're going to bring you techniques and tools to enhance your life. But I'm going to tell you something, folks. If you're listening to this Motivational Monday, it's going to be helpful and insightful. If you're a client of ours, this is just one more piece of awareness and aha that's layered to all the techniques and coaching you've already gotten. If you're sitting on the sidelines and have not gotten good coaching, have not gotten the best advice on your career, and perhaps you're asking your, your aunt and your uncle and your brother's best friend on what to do with your career, you might consider getting the best advice and help on the planet. <laughs> and changing your energy signature in a way that probably no one in your life really understands how to do. When we send our ladies out for interviews with a fresh resume and a fresh LinkedIn profile that matches who they are at the soul level, they're able to present themselves in a way that has, you can't even use the word confidence. It's beyond that word. It is, it is a deeper sense of knowing one's truth and power. And there's nothing better than that. And better jobs come and better opportunities are seen, applied for, and executed on. So please consider that this could be your best year and your best decade ever in your life. 
and for hundreds of women who got to work on their kick-ass self and brought their soul to work in 2019, it is their best year and best decade. And so I want that for as many women on this planet as possible. And hey, if you don't like my coaching or my personality or Miliana's, that's cool. Find someone else who does consciousness, energetic work, and great executive career coaching. You've got to have all of those pieces. Just having great consciousness is not going to change your career or outcomes in your life. Just having a great resume is not going to do it. And I'm going to be more and more kick-ass as the year goes on because I get more passionate about the great work that we do and the secret recipe that we have uncovered to help women with their careers and ultimately build their lives. Miliana, you know um, that I spent uh, last Sunday, a, a week ago, so like 10 days ago, uh, eight days ago, with eight of our kick-ass ladies in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. We had a, a meetup, and I was sitting next to one of those beautiful ladies, an attorney. He, she's in the workshop. At that point, it was three weeks. And she literally turned to me and said, Mo, we haven't gotten to the level where I'm executing on the career things. I'm just getting started over the last couple of weeks but I'm a better parent to my three-year-old and six-year-old. And that alone, I know I'm on the right track of being a better version of me. So the light shining from within is the first thing. It's so that you can then be a better version of you in every aspect of your life. I'm so passionate about this work. And Miliana, thanks so much for joining me uh, live from your home uh, overseas. And, um, and just blessing all of us with your great talents in the world. There was a time when you weren't turning your lights on as well. And I absolutely can rock the fact that I knew you when, and you <laughs> did and chose yourself almost four years ago. Now, um, you decided to live a kick-ass life and find your soul and bring her forward. And I'm so glad that you did. And hundreds of other, uh, women on this planet are glad that you did. And I'm delighted that you're on my team and that we can change lives together. So uh, we'll be back next Monday um, for another Motivational Monday. Folks, this is Coach Mo Fall. You can find all about my work at mofall.com. And if you want to get started, your key to that is to book your free career clarity call where we can get started in diagnosing what's wrong with your career, where you want to go, and if we're the answer, we'll help you find a way to get into our kick-ass workshop. It is a life-changing experience. So we want as many women to change their lives as possible on this planet because it makes the world a better place. We need you to be kick-ass and to find your soul. Miliana, thanks again for joining. And folks, over and out for a great, great week. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your kick-ass soul. And we'll see you next time.